Hello everyone. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're following me, you're coming back, all the more welcome. This video is specifically targeted toward three people who are really going out of their way to help me. And, uh, and some of them are actually donating money, and I appreciate that, I really, really do. It all adds up over a period of time, everybody pitching in $20 here and $10 there. Um, I came across something that I was thinking this, and then I decided to try it, and it works. I have mounted this here on a screw so I can swivel this. Okay. Now, what I like to do is be able to take this radius turn and make it so this radius turn can be even pulleys. I don't care how it's done. Um, pulley might be the easiest way. And then to another pulley here, not using this at all. This is, some, this is just uh, jerry rig as per usual. As you can see, that's just a metal plate. Um, so each time this turns once, this turns once exactly the same ratio that this turns. Watch what happens. Now, the amount of energy I'm using to do this is very little. And yet the amount of torque and speed we're getting out of this, I believe, means I don't know, we might have more gain uh, or enough torque left over to make this do its thing. There are other videos on YouTube that are similar to this, but they're not driven. They're not geared that I know of with any belt or chain or what have you not. So watch what happens here. I'll explain to you real quick what's going on, the dynamics. It's an attraction mode here. And then as this comes around, it goes into repulsion mode. Now, unfortunately, we have the dynamics of this metal as well, but the metal doesn't seem to be affecting it too greatly as far as slowing or causing drag on the wheel. I'm sure it is, but it's very limited. Okay, so watch this. Take this here. Now, just so you know, I've disassembled this. There's no magnet in here anymore, as you can tell. I can put my finger in there. All right, so let's, let's get on with the show here. I'll give this a good little nudge. Well, I can actually do this probably from the stand and stop. Here, let's see, watch. Okay, comes around, and I'm going to turn this around. And then like that. Will the wheel make enough momentum to do this again? Yep, it will. Okay, I'm going to try to match the wheel's rotation best I can. One turn of the wheel, one turn of the magnet. One turn of the wheel, one turn of the magnet. What's happened is it goes into repulsion mode at the end of the magnet, which gives it an extra kick out. I mean, you can really feel it kicking out. Okay, I can only do this so much because once I get out of time, this doesn't work this well. You can see we're getting some serious speed here now. So we're probably up over 100 RPMs, or at least right around 100 RPMs. So, I'd like to do, instead of doing this for now, I like this is a little easier to explore. I, by the way, I had been absent for quite a while, maybe three, four, or five days. Um, I had things to do. I started feeling really run down. I started feeling some uncomfortable warning signs in my body, and I needed to yield. And I literally just sat down in a chair and went to bed and got lots of rest and lots of sleep. I'm concerned because, you know, I still might be ageless or 20-something, but my body says, screw you. My body keeps getting older and older, even though I'm not getting any older, but my body is. That's the way it is for all of us, but most people don't look at life like that. They say they're 65. No, your body might be 65, but you yourself, you're not 65. Okay, but I like to think we're all the wiser and, and more humbler and kinder now with with uh, as time has come to pass. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Um, I guess what I'm going to do here is find a way to whoop, find a way to put some kind of pulley system on this, and just find a way to put this on some kind of axis, and uh, so this will just rotate exactly one ratio to this one ratio. So just as this glass magnet is coming around, this is kicking out like this. And time this comes around, it's going around exactly the same time. Synchronicity or synchronization is going to be key here. Okay. 
Okay. Let me not waste any more of your time. You get the idea. So that's it. Um, you all have any ideas? Please, I'm shooting my way. Uh, there's a few of you now that are starting to email me, some of you with diagrams, some of you with 3D printing. And one of you, I won't mention names, I think it's important I keep some privacy with each of you, are actually making and printing out 3D models to work and resolve in this and with amazing, incredible concepts. I mean, they're just wonderful. I look at it this way. NASA was a collaboration of thousands of people working together to get us on and out, get us in a rocket ship and on out into space. So I think the same thing is here. I have no problem with collaboration to resolve issues. I just wish we were all working in the same building together and we had a nice big shop. This could be knocked out quickly. But the, the issue is here. I have no idea if I'm truly on to something or this is just going to be a dead end. And keep in mind, I am going to go back to my shielding. I will get back to that here very quickly now. And I will build a bunch of these staters. But I can't have these magnets at a slant. So I have to change this wheel out. I have another wheel ready, but it's missing some parts for the axle. So I'm going to have to find a bicycle shop, an old-fashioned bicycle shop. And there are none, zero, in my area. So it's going to be a very stiff, long drive to the nearest one. Okay, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Take care now. Thank you.